I am the son of two tribes. I am the daughter of one birth. I am the spirit of many nations. I am a child of Mother Earth. In honor of the original caretakers of this land, the ancestral spirits that have protected this land since time immemorial, to our ancestral spirits who have carried us forward to now, blood of our dead, spirit of the red, and for all our relations. May these words serve as a peaceful reconciliation. May our actions serve to unite us as one nation. Miigwech, Nawe, Maldios. Thank you. As I sit and meditate, I often try to relate to circumstances and events that shape our world. My mind flips through thoughts like pages of a comic book where truth is the hero to a world where fear is the tyrant and justice is hurled into chaos and disorder. The people that inhabit this world secretly pray for a savior to this ever-amounting threat of fear. A call for change is whispered and felt from every person in their private quarters of comfort. Yes. Something is happening. This sense of knowing is felt. The awareness is coming. People are waking up. Everything is related. Intelligence takes the form of code and connection, information at our fingertips. Yet the decision to take action is infected, polluted by psychological and spiritual manipulation, manufactured by corporate greed, and sponsored in part by political ideologies masked by religious beliefs leading the world into damnation. If only truth could reach out and save every individual who yearns for its healing grace. But the world is too big. The people, too many. Fortunately, truth has an ally, hope. Together, truth and hope are able to save a few of the people who cry in vain in this failing world. Together, truth and hope gather the people and form the wise. The wise are few in number, yet led by truth and hope, their power is limitless. But the tyrant fear, false expectations appearing real, is a powerful foe. With the ability to cripple thoughts, cause doubt, and the most threatening of all, cause the people to not take action. And fear too has an ally, ignorance, with the power to infect the people and keep them in a state of fear. Some go their entire lives living existence as a quiet desperation, never learning from truth, that the fear that feels like anxiety pushing down upon our shoulders is actually a sense of purpose that can lift us to greater heights, revealing our truest selves. In my mind, there is no end. I am not dreaming. Truth and hope are taking a beating. But like real heroes, their strength does not falter. Truth and hope still prevail. The wise are taking action. Artists form the wise. Truth and hope have given artists the power. The weapons of the wise do not inflict physical pain, but invoke synapses that ignite the brain. United, the wise are led by artistic healers, warriors, and seers, poets, creators. For if we are made in the image of our creators, are we not creators ourselves? The long-awaited call for change and justice has been heard. My people will sleep for 100 years, but when they awake, it will be the artists who give them their spirit back. For too long, fear and ignorance has shackled us all. And as we realize this, as we awaken from our spiritual slumber, some may be able to acknowledge the magic that exists within us and become one with their power, like heroes in a book. Fear is the precursor to courage. To struggle and triumph in the face of fear is what it means to be a hero. Let us add to the pages of this book of life, where we get to paint our own pictures, shape our own stories, and play our own heroes. Oh.